Hi everyone, my name is Abhi Parvas Thermesh and today I'm excited to tell you about my research. One in nine men will be diagnosed with prostate cancer during his lifetime. The challenge in managing prostate cancer lies not in an absence of treatment choices, but from the limitations that arise due to evolutionarily acquired resistance to treatment. This evolved resistance is a direct consequence of heterogeneity variation in the cancer itself. Imagine two bowls of cereal. One is filled with Cheerios and the other with Fruit Loops. Then imagine a child who eats all colors of cereal but red. The Cheerios will be obliterated, but the red Fruit Loops will persist. Now let's make an analogy to cancer. Let's say that red Fruit Loop stands in for a cell type with a mutation that allows it to resist a certain treatment. In the presence of this treatment, this cell line will continue to proliferate compared to treatment sensitive cell types. By contrast, in the absence of variation, cancer treatments targeted to the specific cell type involved can effectively kill all the cancer. This dangerous heterogeneity is a feature of prostate cancer as well as cancer in general. We see heterogeneity across the biological hierarchy, from the level of the genome, characterized by differences in DNA structure or content across cancer cells, to cells, defined as cell types within the tumor mass, to tumor heterogeneity, in which there are different metastatic tumors within the same prostate cancer patient, and across people, when there are different primary tumors in different patients. Tumor heterogeneity is a major clinical challenge and a primary source of treatment failure in cancer cases. My goal is to tackle this heterogeneity by figuring out what maintains variation in cell types. I study a human prostate carcinoma cell line that contains both non-metastatic and metastatic cell types. The non-metastatic cells make up approximately 75% of the parental population, while the remaining 25% is comprised by mesenchymal cells. What remains a mystery is why the faster growing non-metastatic cells don't drive the slowly growing metastatic cells to extinction. I am addressing this question by comparing the outcome of cell line growth rate experiments in isolation and in combination. My goal is to use these data to determine whether there are emergent properties of cellular communities that allow the dangerous metastatic cells to persist. Thank you for watching, and a special thanks to my amazing mentors, Dr. Maureen Neiman and Dr. Chris Stipp.